A wet and windy Anglesey Road hosted the women's AIL Shield, Plate and Cup finals on Saturday, with the first of the three finals kicking off at 12 as Railway Union took on Highfield in the Shield final. It was Highfield who got the scoring underway with an impressive strike from Leah Lyons as she split the posts. Railway opened their account through international Lindsay Peat as she drove over to Whitewash after a tidy handoff. Kimber Rosier added the extras to make it 7-3. Rosier extended her side's lead in the second half when she showed quick feet to escape the Highfield defence on her way to dot down at the posts. Aaron Cawhey added the extras this time and that would be the last score of the game as Railway won it on a scoreline of 14 points to 3. Next up was the plate final which was contested between Thurlis and St Mary's. Three tries in the worsening conditions including this one from Neve Connolly would be enough to win it as St Mary's were victorious on an 18 point to nil scoreline in a testing encounter for both sides. The third and final game of the day kicked off at 3pm as Galwegians and Cook battled it out in the AIL Cup final. Weegians were first to open their account with this intercept try from Emma Cleary who couldn't be chased down on her way to the line. Nicole Foley slotted the kick to give her side a 7-0 lead. Foley added a penalty to make it 10-0 before Cook got off the mark with this try from Leslie McGarity, which was superbly converted by Grace Davitt. Weegians managed to hold on to a slim advantage until the final whistle and celebrations ensued. A fantastic effort from Cook taking it down to the wire to cap off what was a great day of women's rugby, despite the conditions.